Good evening, everyone. How are all? Welcome to Tuesday night's live stream, which, of course, means that it's baking live. But we're not actually baking tonight. It's a no-bake dessert. So, oh, sugar. What? Mm. It's a no-bake. Got you. Yes, ah, no. I, I forgot to mute the sound so yes um tonight's uh offering uh, <laughs> oh making pizza no we're not making pizza we're making as the title suggests hedgehog slice why i've been trying to find out why it's called hedgehog slice it's been elusive so i don't know why it does say um it's uh American and the cuisine is its desserts so there you go so um Mr P's just made a coffee so I'll be drinking my coffee while I wait for a few more to come in I'm not going to start straight away obviously because I need more bodies in <coughs> so um so yeah so Mr P had made a coffee just before we uh We went live, so just to give you a bit of a I I Welsh Clark here. Yeah. So there you go. That's the picture of it. That is what I'm going to be making tonight. Um. So yeah, it's a no bake dessert. I'll put it a bit closer so you can see what I'm making. So so that's what I'm making tonight um so yeah we've got uh, hi kate how are you so yeah we're gonna wait for a few more coming in um uh so yeah that, that's about it really um i've got everything sorted out i've already uh greased me baking tin already obviously you know that i like to uh prepare ahead of time um uh yeah i same as i say uh welsh clark we, we're going to wait for a few more coming in because jackie wanted to uh uh so yeah so like i mean you know the biscuits have got to be crushed and the nuts has got to be crushed so i've done that planned ahead done that in advance because my food processor is very noisy so you don't want that deafening you so um so yeah so uh i sort of planned ahead and some as i say i've crushed the biscuits i've chopped the nuts up so we're all ready to go basically um so uh so yeah yeah it's been a lovely day today um sunny on and off so yeah it's been quite a pleasant day um what were it like outside when you went on your walk were it nice oh, and sunny yeah, warm yeah bad. um so obviously somebody that we're watching has gone because we've only got we're down to four now so uh Yeah, so as I say, I've not been out anyway, Kate. Um, Chris and Callum went on the little walk and they both took cameras with them. So, uh, you know. Um... <laughs> yeah, the uh, the light not drain of its power tonight because uh, it's plugged it into one of the USB ports on the uh, on the laptop. Because normally there's only like two USB ports on the um, on. on the laptop, and I have a mouse, which is, obviously it's easy for me, and obviously the webcam. So he says, "Well, you know, you don't really need your mouse." So he says, "I'll plug the light directly into your laptop, and it like obviously uh, charges up as it goes." So uh, so yeah. Uh, he says all, all my phone done today is beep beep beep. Mm, 
notification after notification after notification. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're not, we're not too bad. Um, uh, uh, I did finish the, uh, the chocolate fudge cake off. So, uh, hi, my lady. How are you? Hello, my lady. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so, I finished that off today. Um it's all done and dusted so uh so yes and if i say so myself it does look rather quite good so uh we'll wait for amjad coming in i know bella says she were going to be here so uh we'll we'll just wait for a, a few more coming in um so uh same as i say it's not uh something that's going to take a lot a long time so we've got the uh you know the luxury of uh it's it's fine same as the same we've got six we did have seven so obviously if somebody's left um but uh i don't like to put anybody under any pressure if you know what i mean so you know they'll be here when they when they're going to be here if you know what i mean um Jackie said she would she got hey talk of the devil on the shot up here. Hiya Ramjad, how are you? Hello, um Jackie did say she wanted she were gonna come in because she said she'd got all the ingredients to um you know uh to make it. So I don't know whether she's gonna come in, but I know Bella we've gone right down to five now. Uh, so uh Uh, same as I say, Chris made a coffee. Um, oh, she says she didn't get notification. Um, oh. She had to look. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, thing is, though, like nowadays, a lot of people are moaning that they don't get notification. So, uh, you know, it's a case of if you know a person goes live at a certain time, then, um, you know, it's always best to check on it um, because, hey, we've got Crimson in. Hey. Oh, I didn't even know Mel Mel were, were live, to be honest with you, Bella. Uh, she says, just being in Mel Mel's, he says say, to say hi. So, uh, so yeah. Um, she's there. She just has to finish. Her. The Jackie's there. So say hello, Jackie. Hiya, Jackie. <laughs> 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 but we we'll we start waiting for you to come in because she said you got all ingredients. <laughs> so right, right. Um, uh, Melly Raid, I would. I'm here too. Uh, so hey, hiya, Jax. So yes, without further ado, which Chris get it gets on Chris's nerves when I say so that's why I say it. <laughs> so yeah. So do you want to come and no, because you're winding me up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, so uh, same as I say, I've sort of prepared in yeah. advance because you don't want me noise a food processor um making a racket yeah put in your stream yards so we know what yeah so work. so we've got the camera angle right yeah uh, uh, a bit back a bit yeah that's there. it that's it there we go Good to go right so this is a seven yeah wind 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 the old man up <laughs> wind the old man up i am mel mel so uh no, thank no, you no, for no. coming in uh so yeah so this is a eight inch square baking pan it's not a a, a massively deep one so uh but um Oh, exciting. I'll be playing this back tomorrow at mine. This tin I got from Asda, I think they're about two or three quid. So 
basically a good buy. Um, so yeah, so I've like I've lined that already. So um, there there is my mixing bowl. So and I've put my tin over my recipe, so I don't know. In so right, first things first. Um, you need. 250 grams of it says graham's crackers or digestive biscuits obviously here in the uk we've got digestive biscuits so what i've done is i've put them in the food processor i haven't sort of crushed them till they're really fine so basically i've you know there is still some quite large lumps in there but it did say uh broken into pieces so uh with a cheesecake you, you you know you pulverize them until they're very fine so they go in in there so uh you also want 30 grams it says shredded coconut but we call it desiccated coconut so yeah, so there's 30 grams of coconut there. Add them to the biscuit mixture. Uh, you want two tablespoons of coconut, coconut, cocoa powder. Sorry, tell it's live. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Can I leave out the coconut? I would imagine so, Jack. I mean, if you're not fond of it, so I don't think it plays a, a massively important part to the recipe. So that's two tablespoons of cocoa. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give that a quick mix. So they're all mixed together. There is still some quite big bits in. What? Cheers, yeah, coconut is yuck. <laughs> so, yeah, just give it um, a... Uh, a good mix together and then in a minute mr p is going to love me because i need his assistance Poor Lucy. <laughs> i said in a minute not just yet very comfortable. yeah so I'm, I'm just mixing that all together right put that to one side a bit and now on to the next step uh, already. <laughs> <laughs> mm, even though it's cocoa powder right <laughs> so in a in a separate bowl you need 200 grams of dark chocolate this is not cooking chocolate this is just normal um <laughs> Oh, she's going to send us some pictures. Hey, Hi, hiya, Dennis. How are you? So, yeah. So, this is like, this is, oh, crimson. Mm -hmm. $10. Oh, bless him. Yeah. <laughs> she likes chocolate a bit, but she don't like coconut. So, yeah, this is not cooking chocolate. It's just um, shop-bought pasta chocolate am i early enough yes i've only just started dennis so that's 200 grams of dark chocolate going in there so also you need 240 mils of sweetened condensed milk so, yes, this is condensed milk that goes in there over the dark chocolate. Yeah. 
Lol, wait till your next stream, lol. Oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that that condensed milk is that going in with the dark chocolate. Bella says, no, Dennis, she's already made three cakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And? Can you use blue milk, says Welsh Clark? Blue milk, yeah, I think you can. It's, it, 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 it. I forgot to add into the um, into the biscuit. Hang on a minute. Nearly forgot. Forty grams of chopped hazelnuts. I nearly forgot. You didn't answer the milk question. What? Um, it does say condensed milk, so I don't know. I don't really know. So yeah, I nearly forgot the uh, blanched hazelnuts in with the. Uh, it means the blue top milk, Bella. Not blue milk, Bella, you know. No, yeah. So, yeah, so so that um, is blanched almonds chopped that goes into the biscuit mix. It's a good job I've got a good memory, otherwise I'd, I'd have been sick. I've got some nuts left over here. <laughs> uh... I have done that before. Can't remember which recipe it was, Brasses. How come I've got something left? I forgot to put it. It were an egg or something, weren't it, that I forgot to put in? Yeah. Anyway, I forgot I forgot what it were I was making. And so yeah, so uh, so into that mixture. Um you mix mix the nuts, the biscuits, cocoa powder and the coconut. There's only there, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're right. We're good now. So yeah, so in there is 200 grams of dark chocolate, 240 mils of sweetened condensed milk, and to this, <clears throat> you need 60 grams of unsweetened butter. Is so, it ready for to eat after making? Uh, well, once this bit's done, Jackie, it says to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. But same as I said, to speed up the process, it's basically you're just waiting for the liquid to, to firm up. I'm going to tell Chris to put it in the freezer. So if you want the process to be speeded up, just bring it in, in freezer for about 10 minutes. Well, I said it was chocolate chips. Chocolate chips, what? I don't know, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so there's 60 grams of unsalted butter here. So, now is the time I'm going to need Mr. P's assistance. Oops, sorry. sorry, Lucy, your mum's fault. I'm going to have to get Mr. P a special penny. No. <laughs> I put the bankini on. Yeah. That I got. So, that wants going in the microwave and it says stir every 30 seconds until smooth and creamy so do you want a spoon oh, plenty in <laughs> so yeah just put it on for 30 seconds stir it yeah. put it on for another 30 seconds and stir it I'll so yeah <laughs> it's not going to take that long for it. oh dear so yeah, so that the condensed uh, milk, the dark chocolate, and the butter all goes in a mixing dish and um, in microwave. Just put it on for thirty seconds. That you forgot the other week. Uh, I've no idea. Now, this, this rages ago, Bella, when I used to film in the kitchen, um, I'd, I'd, everything had gone in oven, it had come out of oven and everything, and I looked and I says, oh, well, I've, I've, I've got an egg spare somewhere. <laughs> I didn't know where it had come from. So, um, so yeah, so uh, we'll just wait for Chris coming back in here. I'll try and... Uh, um, sort of break these biscuits up a bit better because some of them are quite big i didn't want to 
go too, uh, you know, too vigorous with it breaking up uh, other biscuits and, and, you know, it be a powder because that's not what you're aiming for. So, uh, you know, while we're waiting for him with the, uh, with the chocolate and, and whatever, I'll, uh, I'll just uh, break these biscuits up a bit better. You don't want them like little tiny pieces, but you don't want great big massive pieces either. So, uh, I mean, I wonder if that's why they call it hedgehog slice. I mean, it does look a bit like an hedgehog, don't you think? Uh, uh, Bella says, I really like the look of this. Well, same as I say, um, once that mixture that Chris has... Uh, um, Pouring it microwave, you add that mixture to this mixture and then pour it straight in tin. It's as easy as that, Bella. But then you have to pour it in fridge for the chocolate to set for 30 minutes. So I says to Chris or anybody else that can't wait that long, um, a lot of the bakers do it. They just pour it in the freezer and it cuts like the waiting time by half. So basically, all you're waiting for is for the chocolate to set. So in about 10 minutes, that ch chocolate will be set and I'll be able to go on to the next bit. Hiya, hey, Emma. Emma's in as well. And as the title suggests, Emma, we're making hedgehog slice and my able assistant is in the kitchen. As you can hear him. <laughs> so, uh, so yes. Um, Chris has been, is it, are, you, are you still at it? <laughs> so, yes, while we're waiting for that, we'll, we'll just have a chit chat between us, uh, Yes, is it is in the kitchen, Emma? Is is being me? Uh, it's being me assistant. Is uh, I've added the condensed milk. I've added dark chocolate and uh, butter. It's got to be. How long does it take to cook? It don't have to be cooked. That's the beauty of it, uh, Kate. It don't need to be cooked. It's more like a, 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 a bar, a biscuit, but on this recipe, it says it's a dessert. Is that right? One more or? <coughs> uh, just wait, let, let me just put, Hello. Just put that on there because of that, Matt. Yeah, I can. Uh, well, that oh. don't seem smooth to me, does it? That's another one. Smooth and creamy. No, I think that'll be all right. It just needs a good stir. There you go. So yeah, so in this Emma, this um dark chocolate, two hundred and forty mils of condensed milk and sixty grams of butter. Oh, that looks like chocolate body paint. <laughs> Who guesses who that is? Oh, I it with. <laughs> this is what um, your hub is like, you get extremes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, I'll, I'll just show you roughly. In here, Emma, there's uh, 250 grams of digestive biscuits broken up. I've done a meat food press processor. Um, 30 grams of desiccated coconut. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder and 40 grams of skinless hazelnuts finely chopped. That's all that's in here. So now the the, the art of the uh, that basically goes in here. It's as simple as that. 
see this one it's a no bait one so there's no remembering to put oven on so you have to quickly get all this together make sure everything's coated with chocolate <laughs> or body paint as dennis says i'm dead i hope you're all right <laughs> <laughs> it will be up on my channel afterwards so I, and i've all I, I always put the um i always put the ingredients and everything in the description and even on a live stream so uh good can't burn myself <laughs> Well, there is that about it, Jackie. Yeah, but don't don't stick your tongue in freezer. Yeah, that's what Chris said. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just to test it, see if it's set. Don't go sticking your tongue in freezer. <laughs> no, Chris, it's his age. Because no, it says, "Is he on again?" Uh. I will, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> she says I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, there's only Jackie can do that. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Is it cold? I'll test it out with me tongue. But see. but you, see. just basically, Jackie, just make sure everything's coated in chocolate. I say, I'm trying to try to drippy coffee and lunch is everybody in the hand. Hey, Dennis, do you want a bottle of wine? So, yeah, I'm just going to use my metal spoon. Um, that wooden one seems a bit bulky and some biscuit and whatever is not coated so i think that's ready to go in in the tin old <laughs> <laughs> kitchen will probably be coated in chocolate <laughs> oh dear So yeah, so now bring the tin over. See, this is why I don't like this metal, because it's so heavy and with me having arthritis in my hands, it's uh, it's a bit heavy and as, uh, as well as, you know, whatever you've got in it, it's a bit, uh, what's it on the old arms, hands, wrists? everything so yeah sorry if i'm not uh reading the chat but oh well i've got so that's the links for the recipe alexa find the hedgehog's flies recipe uh, <laughs> whenever it comes up we so yeah so it's just basically now it just needs pressing down. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm sort of neglecting the chat, but I've got to get this in the tin and before it starts to set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that by now, Emma? Well, his motto is, she makes it, I eat it. <laughs> Can I wash its pots? <laughs> uh, no, who washes pots? Well, me, most of the time. Me. <laughs> yeah, when I'm baking, when you're baking, I always wash, because I, I like to know that they wash properly. <laughs> is he licking the bowl? <laughs> Doesn't look like a hedgehog. Well, this is what we were we've been saying all along. We don't know why it's called hedgehog slice. Yeah, 
It's a very, very fat hedgehog. So, um, so yeah, I mean, why it's called an hedgehog slice, I do not know. That part has eluded us at the moment. I think uh, Amjad Googled it, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, it's a good job I check because this corner See ain't. Hi, Tina, how are you? How are you? Uh, so yeah, once this is, uh, I've got it right in the corner. Um, get Chris to put it in the freezer to set for a little while. Make some room. Well, it don't really matter so long as it it it's basically to solidify the chocolate, so it sets so you can put the top on it. Google what? When, when you did a Lexa thing with a hedgehog slice. <laughs> <laughs> Why it's called hedgehog slice? Because people are saying that it don't resemble an hedgehog. And says so we know that, but we don't know why it's called hedgehog slice. Um, so, yeah, about there now. We've got Garrett right in corner. So there we are. Do you want to uh, Sorry, Lucy. And put it in the freezer for me? And you just get a settled, don't you, Lucy? Then I've got to put you know, put me down there. So yeah, so uh, basically, it does say just to put it in the fridge for 30, 30 minutes, but. Same as I said, a lot of bakers use it hack and they just put it in freezer to speed up the process. So uh, it's not on me. Is it not? Oh, yeah, it has. It's changed now. Oh, see. Uh, oh, the cameraman, me or he? Uh, you're you my, we'll eat it now. No freezer needed. That's Vanessa Kitty. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? So. Uh, so yes, um, hey, I'm a good pot wash. <laughs> I'll give two guesses who that is. Chris, baby, what? somebody says uh, they're a good pot washer. I says I'll give you two guesses who that is. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. But you see, we don't we don't have the um, we don't have the luxury of having a, a dishwasher. It's the old bowl and you know hand wash pots in our ass. Yeah, no, no dishwashers here. <laughs> um, shops are opening here down here soon. Kept on time when I put it in. Well, if we just say about half past. I know. Uh, no, I mean, that's what time it, it went in. Oh, it right. only wants about 10 minutes. It's only so, yeah. it basically, the chocolate, it firms the chocolate up. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Well, you're commenting now, like. Chris is, no, you're looking at her, uh, Jax. What? She says, Chris is the dishwasher. And I went, no, you're looking at her. I am when it comes to tea time. <clears throat> Oh, My landlady needs house cleaned out and fairly empty to have it appraised. I am cleaning out two rooms now. Oh, dear. Where is it? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm laughing at what Emma's just put. <laughs> uh, well, Baz is a good pot washer here because there's no ruddy pots. <laughs> Um, yeah, just read what Emma's put. What has Emma put? <laughs> He's just studying some it, so we'll be back. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> <laughs> now you can see why we're laughing. Just like an old granddad, that. Yeah, uh, but you see, I he he does most of the uh. He cooks the tea, Jackie. Mm. I just make 
you know, do the baking. So, uh, so yeah. But if for anybody that doesn't know, Emma and Dennis have just had um, a new addition to the family, and it's a teacup chihuahua, and it's a cute little thing. It's got a small head, but it's still got a bigger brain than Dennis because I bet it does tread in any dog. Yeah, so so for anybody that wasn't aware, they've just had a new addition to the family and it's it's a teacup chihuahua. Does it sleep in the matchbox when it goes to bed? So, uh, and it's cutest thing you've ever seen, but when it looks up at you... It's got one of them sort of looks, if you know what I mean. It won't be, will be. So, uh, what all uh, Miley, I think they've called it. Is it? Is it Miley? Something like that. Yeah, uh, Millie. Miley. Millie, Mammy. Uh, huh? says, it says, good luck, then it's fuming. <laughs> Bella, Bella Poor is supposed to be good luck. Hiya, Tracy. Hey, Tracy. Might win lottery, Dennis. <laughs> oh, Vanessa's got a Chihuahua Pomeranian. Ooh. Uh, Tracy's got a Chihuahua Pomeranian. Has Dennis put his foot in it again? <laughs> Oh dear, Tina says she's been on three live streams and put on time out five times for no reason. No. Uh, members put, yeah, Miley, she's so adorable, cute, wonderful. She is, she's a be beautiful looking dog. But Emma took a picture of her the other day and she was like looking up and I went, she looks as cute as a button, but them eyes. <laughs> Not for me, Bella. I've got to clean my foot. <laughs> you should be walking about with no no socks and shoes on then. What's where you're walking? So uh they come to me and they love a mess. It's only a little doggy. <laughs> so yeah, we've we've done the first bit, Tracy. That I've 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 asked Chris to put it in the freezer for me because it speeds up the uh, the setting process. It said it should need 30 minutes in the uh, in the fridge, but to spe speed things up a little bit, I've told him to put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. But this one, it you can't even call it a baking because there ain't no baking involved. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to use oven, you know, you just need your microwave and your ingredients. Basically, that's it. Uh, luckily, he was wearing trainers. Oh, that's all right then. But Dennis trampled it all the way through. Ouch. <laughs> uh, Vanessa says she has a poodle schnauzer mixed with three inch long legs. Oh, bless. Oh. It was runt of the litter, cute as buttons. <laughs> Trust Bella. Well, it can't be much, Dennis. She's only got a little bum. <laughs> I mean, we said that about Lucy, but God, she can't half. Uh, oh dear, where's she? Where's she can't, can't, can't half let rip, and she's only got a little bum. I mean, I've got no sense of smell, but I can smell her parts. Three months. Oh dear, but yeah. So, uh, some as I say, um, a lot of bakers do it, or you know, uh, oh, that we can't cut in it. <laughs> you know. A lot of the bakers do it uh, to speed process up, um, put things in freezer. It did say 30 minutes in fridge, but I says about 10 minutes in freezer and, you know. Uh, no idea. She says, I was thinking with the Nutella, could you flick it upwards going so it like spikes like a hedgehog? I don't know. I don't know. Try it. Uh, so, yeah, so only thing that's left to do once it comes out of the freezer is melt the milk chocolate, stir in a uh, a tablespoon of Nutella. Now, um, 
I don't buy proper Nutella. I buy Asda Smart Price hazelnut and chocolate spread. Just as good as Nutella. Can't tell the difference. Yeah, it still tastes rubbish. <laughs> So, uh, but same as I say, I uh, Callum used to have it on toast every morning. He's gone on to Ice Krispies now. He goes through these fads where, um, uh, you know, he, he changes his mind. He goes on to something else. Um, and same as I say, I just buy as the smart price hazelnut and chocolate spread because it's the same thing. Um, uh, Vanessa says Nutella is nasty. Um, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, I mean, some as I say, Callum seems to have these fads. You know, we went on to toast and chocolate spread, and now he's gone on to uh, the Azra Ice Krispies every morning. Um, so, uh, Is Lucy back on you? Yeah. Because I was just going to say, can you go and check? Yeah, just let me finish So, uh, you could take that milk chocolate in while you're at it. What did you say? You'd have milk chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> melt, melt milk chocolate now. Uh, if you can hear, that's took a wow in. Uh, Tina says, hello, Chris. No, I don't, Tina. Is 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 being me uh well, her assistant. Yeah, he's being me assistant. I, I probably need another spoon as well, baby. What? What a normal... No, just a normal tablespoon. Emma says I love dairy milk, Cadbury's chocolate spread. My dad loves it. Like it on the spoon, but not bread. I don't buy it. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> So, some as I say, it's it's a lot cheaper to buy the Asda Smart Price one. I think it's eighty p. Um, oh, Be Becca eats it out of a jar. Ooh, what Nutella? Yeah. Ooh. That's rock solid, now, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, have you done with your cup? Ever? Says, no. Have you done with your cup? No. Oh, oh shut it down, has he? No. <laughs> so we had a cat just roll across the uh, laptop. You probably see him. Uh... <laughs> Slice, eat. No. <laughs> it's... I've got put topping on it yet, Jackie. Be patient. <laughs> Chris has just gone to melt the milk chocolate. Uh, no, that, uh... oh, no, yeah, that's that's fine. Putting that bowl in. She says, "Come on." Hi, <laughs> hi, Tammy. How are you? Yeah, we're just making hedgehog slice. Um, <clears throat> I've just uh, had, had this in the freezer, the biscuit base and everything. Chris is just melting me the milk chocolate. Uh, basically, uh, Kate, he just zoomed across, you know, the laptop. Chris was saying, he hadn't shut it down, he hadn't shut it down. So, uh, so yeah, um, if you want to see a sneak preview, that's it. Come out the freezer. So, uh, so yeah, we're just waiting for the uh, for the milk chocolate. So yeah, so that's that's it to come out the freezer. Um, we're just waiting for Chris. So uh, I'll just move that to one side and put my tea towel on my mat. I don't want him uh, burning my mat. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, I'm making peanut butter cookies next week, Emma. She says you need to make something with peanut butter. Now, isn't that a coincidence? I did say on my live stream last night, I said next week I'm going to be making peanut butter cookies. So... Uh... <laughs> Tammy says, tell him to hurry up or I will eat his. <laughs> yeah, see you all. Uh, if you want to put um, what old oh, thing down. Yeah, camera. She says, oh, my God, I'm in. <laughs> when I says, right, next week I'm making peanut butter cookies. So, yes. Um, it's not like when it goes, finally goes down. Don't you see? That's all right. Uh, who's dizzy? Uh, no, stop it. <laughs> Got to do it at least once. Hang on a minute. There. Yeah, that's about right. So yeah, so here's here's the milk chocolate that's that's been melted. Uh, Tammy says she loves peanut. Uh, so yeah, so I am making peanut butter cookies. So until this mixture, tablespoon of Nutella. So basically, that's just uh, Asda's smart price. Um, hazelnut and chocolate spread so i'm just going to uh, scoop this out my little tub and you add that to the milk chocolate uh, if you can hear that in background it's tucker so I'm just going to give it a, a bit of a stir. Uh, what I don't get is Dennis loves peanuts and snicker bars, but not peanut butter. Uh, so yeah, I'm just um, I'm just stirring this uh, this uh, Nutella. Well, it's not Nutella, but it's the same thing into the milk chocolate. So, uh, bring that over. And now for the topping, you just pour that onto your, onto your edge of slice. You know what I'm like, I don't waste not, want not. Hi, Tim's World, how are you? Hi, lad. So, yeah, I'm just going to spread this out a little bit. Um, make sure it goes right to the edges. <laughs> Tammy says you've got my address drop them in the post to me so yeah Do it so you've got an even layer. You don't want one end having more chocolate than the other. So I just like to smooth it over. And just to be on the safe side, I, I give it like a little bit of a... And there you have it. That's, that's your uh, 
that's your head jog slice. So basically, um, I'm have it as soon as yeah, set. so it, it says basically you put it in the fridge, wait for this chocolate to set, and when you're lying in the tin, you just lift it out and cut, cut it into squares or slices. Um, some with lemon curd. <laughs> <laughs> she says lick the spoon woman <laughs> uh no <laughs> it's not very hygienic <clears throat> but yeah that that's it basically um uh it does it just says um you know leave it to set and then uh cut it in small slices and serve so that's basically um that's basically it so this one's going in the fridge um so so are you going to put this in the fridge for me or no <laughs> oh, Dad, oh, Dad. you see this it, it, if we were to put this in freezer it'd probably take a bit longer to uh to set and um It'll be hard to cut. So what I'm banana cake is nice too. I, I've I've actually made, but I, I I didn't vlog it or anything. I made a um chocolate banana loaf with chocolate chips, but I froze that. I, I wrapped it up in, in uh, cling film and put it in the freezer. <laughs> what lick spoon? <laughs> Says me and Amjad, it will be our pleasure. Um, banana cake sounds nice. So yeah, you know, I have I have done on vlogs before uh, banana loaf. Um, other week I did some banana muffins. Uh, same as I say, I did make it because I got some bananas wanted using up. Uh, so, but that's in the freezer. I, I put it in. I, I made it to put it freezer, and it's a chocolate banana loaf with chocolate chips. So, uh, so basically, that's in the freezer. You know what? With the lockdown and everything, you know, just in case we were sort of like struggling. Uh... <laughs> Emma says she don't like bananas. <laughs> Even smell of them makes just pour us well, thing up. They help you poop. Yes. Give to give to the dog so yeah, Dennis can walk in yeah, it a bit they, more. They, they are very good for your for your digestive system. I'll well, pop it on your thing so I can. <laughs> she says. Pop it. I can't see when. Uh, it... Hang on a minute. Oh, up a bit. Up a bit. Yeah. I'm trying to get you in the middle. Yeah, that, that's about it. That's about right. So, uh, fritters. Uh, bring some to show us tomorrow, Jeanette, if Callum and Chris ain't eating it all. <laughs> Who's for that? <laughs> <laughs> I will do, Bella. I will do. Same as I say, with uh, the... hang on a minute. If, if we can't have none of Flapjack Street with Tekka, she's not having none of this. Uh, <laughs> corn fritters, carrot cake. I have done a carrot cake, uh, already cake. Uh, same as I say, I've got a few recipes, um, blueberry and uh, pear tray bake. I think were one that I, uh, I have done some, um. <laughs> Blueberry cookies with lemon glaze. I've printed that off as well. But yes, I will be making uh, peanut butter cookies next week. So look out for that. Fried marble. Definitely no, not. no. Yeah, Welsh Clark says he loves carrot cake. <coughs> you done one already, haven't you? Cake. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, um, you know, I mean, they all, uh, 
you know, the old uh, English spotted dick. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've made something similar. When did you make? Oh, it went right very early on. If you look back in some of my earlier vlogs, uh, Kate, um, you know, I've made carrot cake, I've coffee and walnut cake, um, lemon meringue, uh, chocolate smarty tray bake. Uh, I, it, it, I could, you know, I, I, there's too many to remember. So I have, you know, I have done quite an extensive array of um, of things. Splodge tart. Never heard of that. I'm having PC Xmas time off Santa. Oh, he's having a he's having a new PC off Santa. Who is? Uh, Welsh Clark. So yeah, I mean, if it's something. You know, uh, like lemon drizzle were one of the very first ones that I did. Victoria sponge were one of the very first things that I did. Um, I've done cupcakes. I've done tray bakes. I've done, you know, you name it. So, uh, I, I, I'm just Alexa, what is splodge tart? <laughs> so, I've done it, um, a lemon... An easy lemon t uh, tart with like a, a digestive biscuit base, um, a baked lemon cheesecake. You know, um, I'll have to have a look afterwards, Emma. Um, you know, at uh, some as I say, I, I do, I do do my research. I've been researching actually because obviously um, Bella's vegan. So I might sort of start doing a few vegan recipes, like, well, vegan desserts, and also um, uh, celiacs, you know, people that have got an intolerance to wheat or, um, you know, so, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm sort of broadening my horizons, the same as I said to Chris, you know, it might draw a uh, a different kind of audience in if they know that I'm sort of doing vegan stuff and people, you know, stuff that with people that have celiac, you know, obviously gluten free and, and things like that. <laughs> Bella's put my vegan cake is next, Emma, wait your turn. <laughs> So, yes, I did. Um, see you later, T uh, Tina. Thanks for coming in. Right, Tina. So, so, yes, I have downloaded Bella one, and it's a vegan lemon cheesecake. And it's all plant-based, basically. So, uh, so, so, yeah. You know, and it all come about because... I, I, I was looking for something, I can't remember what, and uh, it came up, this website, and it says all our all our recipes are plant-based. And I thought, ooh, I thought to Bella, you see. So I sent Bella, um, you know, uh, I, I sent Bella the link, and she says a lot of the vegans, that is a very popular site among vegans. but the recipe that I printed off is actually off BBC Good Food. And I do, all I did were uh, vegan, you know, vegan desserts. And it came up with, um, it came up with this lemon cheesecake. And it's like, you know, like how normally you'd, you'd make the base with the digestive biscuits. This is all like, I hope we've got another one running across now. <laughs> Like a you know, um, it, it, it's it's based on nuts, let's just say. It's got cashew nuts, it's got um, coconut oil or is it almond oil or something. But it's all plant-based stuff 
that you're using it apart from obviously i mean the lemons a plant but you know apart from the lemons there's no um there's no cream cheese in it there's no milk products or anything i think the milk is almond milk so it's all basically yeah that that one's another one that one with benny <laughs> We're getting in on action. So, yeah, so, so you know, I mean, same as I said, if anybody knows me, they know that I do my research. So, basically, uh, well, after I come across this this uh, this website that um, I sent to Bella, I just typed in plant-based desserts. So... Uh, So, uh, so yeah. I mean, if if anything, I'm I'm very, um, uh, how can I put it? I do my research. So, um, but like, I, then it got me to thinking. Um, well, you've got celiacs that have got a wheat intolerance, and obviously, um, you know, they deserve desserts as well. So then I started researching um, desserts that are suitable for celiacs. So it's, it's uh, you know, it's um, basically, uh, you know, I've got to look into it a bit further. I don't want to sort of, sort of jump in head first and then, you know, uh you know i don't want sort of people looking and 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 sort of making it and then saying well this is not suitable for celiacs or this is not you know a vegan dessert blah 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 i like to do my research and you know i don't want any comeback as regards you know the the recipes that i put out there even though i get them off reputable sites <laughs> but yeah i mean like gluten free i mean it covers it you know a celiac basically is is somebody that's intolerant to wheat so you've got to find an alternative um because you can get one you like you can make cakes and that are flourless eggless you know what i mean there's you know there's all an old another world out there like like let's like you know what i mean let's just say there's a whole new world out there um as regards um you know why why just um uh 11 p.m here and now i'm raiding the fridge thanks to you <laughs> But yeah, you know, it, it, same as I say, when I came across this website that it says plant-based, and I knew Bella were vegan anyway, I sent her the website and sort of me and Chris talked about it afterwards. And he says, well, actually, it says, instead of sort of just doing, you know, like ones with sugar and milk and butter and everything in, it says you ought to branch out a little bit and try a few vegan recipes and also, um, and he says, what's that called? And we were on about it last night and I, can't, I couldn't think on it straight away. I says, it's like a wheat intolerance. And I says, yeah, it's a celiac because um, my stepbrother's a celiac. My ex-brother-in-law's a celiac. And um, I think his sister's a celiac as well. So it's something that they, you know, that's, three people there that I know that would be interested. Um, uh, she says, all I've got is cheese. I'm going to be having nightmares. <laughs> oh, but you see, this is it. And this is why I said, Emma, it would be nice. Let's say I, I did a dessert for a celiac. You'd be able to 
cooker a, a, a dessert that's specifically for somebody that's got that intolerance. <laughs> Bella says Tessa started barking at 3 a.m. She says I've threatened to with taxidermist. <laughs> Oh dear. But yeah, you know, I mean it's an idea. Um yeah, I found eating food that gluten free is so much better on my tummy. I have Crohn's, even though what I have is not food related, it helps. But this is the thing, uh Kate. If I can um if I can come up with some desserts, um and it inspires like let's say Emma to do a, a stepdaughter um a dessert that's gluten free or yourself you know what i mean that's what my aim is of doing the baking vlogs in the first place is to um is to get people baking because anybody knows that knows me knows i love baking and it's not just you know there is you know certain you know, like let's say vegans, vegetarians, there is certain things that they can eat and what they can't eat. But why they should be should they be left out when it comes to desserts? You know what I mean? That's my philosophy. Um and that's exactly what I have to do, Emma. I mean, Chris will tell you. Um, you know. I have IBS as well. So, you know, I have to watch what I eat. Oh, it's high in protein, you know. Um. <clears throat> so, so, so just, just a recap. If, if anybody has got any ideas what they want me to make, you know i'll research it you know what i do i research it um you know um whatever it is whether it's vegan whether it's for a celiac gluten-free or whatever just drop me a line most of you's got me on um on messenger so um you know have you thought of making this or have you thought of making that if you see anything that that takes your fancy just drop me a line. I'll research it and, um, you know, I'll. Uh, uh, but yeah, you know, it, it's it's I'm, I'll only be too, you know, only be too pleased to, you know, look into it, research it. And and, and if I can get if I can get to, you know, um, You know, it, 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 if I can, it, uh, yeah, Tracy sent me, um, but I've got, a, I've already got a, a lemon blondies with lemon glaze, I think it is. I've already got a recipe for that. So, so, so yeah, you know, if anybody's got any suggestions, same as I say, um, if uh, I don't want to sort of jump, Head first in, and you know, I mean, the the, the one that uh, I, I printed off for Bella is quite relatively simple. So I could, I, I probably not do it on a live stream, but what I can't do on a live stream, I'll vlog it anyway. <laughs> I've actually got a um, a flapjack recipe uh and chris will tell you what is it lemon dr lemon drizzle flapjacks yeah that yeah i made some lemon drizzle flapjacks not so long back i didn't vlog it but um it's like the normal flapjack recipe but you make like a, a lemon glaze with icing sugar and lemon juice and you just drizzle it on the flapjacks. So, uh, so, so yeah. Um, uh, we've got Gordo. 
Uh, I not be long. Yeah, I not be long before I'm shutting it down, Gordo. Normally, when I do the live streams, I only go on till about ten o'clock. Yeah, yeah. A lot. You see a lot of the uh, the vegan recipes and the celiac recipes do have soya milk. So um, you know, it's a case of just a case of trawling through the recipes. Um, as you know, when I do the recipes, I like um, I like to do something that, let's just say, simple enough for, for Joe Bloggs to make. Um, a lot of the, um, how can I put it, more specialised sites are into all this posh stuff. Oh, you've, you've been to pick her up from work, have you? But, yeah, you know, it's got to be something like, uh, same as I say, cupcakes, cheesecakes, um, you know, an actual cake, you know, like, a, let's say, a, um, a apple upside down pudding or a pear upside down pudding, you know what I mean? But, obviously, you've got to get, the specialist ingredients so uh, so yeah you know if, if anything it's it's something that let's say for instance um catered russell up uh, as a as a dessert for after sunday lunch or something that bella might rustle up after sunday lunch you know what i mean uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be live again tomorrow, Tracy. I will cut that hedgehog slice up into slices. And I, posting. Yeah, Chris says, did you hear that? He's going to take a photograph once the chocolate's set and he's going to post it in the group. So just keep your eye out for that in the group. But you see, you see, the thing is, as well, Kate, it is obviously with me having IBS, um, it can only do, do, do as good, if you know what I mean. I am trying, I am trying um, to, uh, obviously, John has lost a lot of weight, so I'm trying to find things, and I sent uh, Tracy for coconut macar macaroons and basically you don't um you don't use um that that's like for like a celiac recipe <laughs> she says i'm asleep in a chair after sunday lunch bro rustling anything up but you get, get what i'm saying bella you know what i mean you know the nature of my channel i'm not into like Posh, nosh, sort of thing, you know. I like to. Taste test. Where's the taste test? I want a taste test. You know what I mean? It's um. What you? It, it, it's 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 got to be um. Easy, not easy, but easy, you know what I mean. Easy, easy. It, it's got. What what anybody can make really, and that's why um, uh, that's why I like doing what I do. Is if it inspires one person, then I've done my job correctly. <laughs> Jack says, "Come on, taste it." Well, Jackie, what we'll do is, Chris <laughs> says, once the chocolate's set, I'm going to cut it up, and he's going to put a picture up in the in the uh, in the in the Facebook minute. group. Wait a minute. Where, where's the baking? It's in the fridge. Oh, is it? Well, don't you bring... But this is it. I mean, there's, there's keto recipes out there as well, Kate. Yeah, and, 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 and Bella is exactly correct. I'm kind of person and is what you see is what you get. You know, I just love baking. I don't. You know, I don't put no ways and graces on. I don't do posh nosh. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, you know, and I just, uh, she says, okay, I'll be patient. 
you know, I don't put no airs and graces on. We don't sort of fine dine or anything like that. And it's just, I like things that's challenging. I like the hedgehog slice because there's no bacon involved. It's something unusual and it was something that I've never heard of. So, um, you know, it's it, it was something... It was something simple, yet it was something that's unusual because not a lot of people have heard of it. Yeah, thank you very much, Emma. Says you are who you are, Jeanette, and that's what makes you. And you know what I mean? It's, uh, you know, it's same as I say. I, I it's, it, it's, all this has come from, I just love baking. You know what I mean? Uh, I just love baking. I like to put my hand to anything. Um, but, like, I, I, I look at a recipe and I'm thinking to myself, I, I sort of think this way. Well, if I can't understand and follow that recipe, how's anybody else going to do, if, if that makes sense? I'm thinking to myself, well, that seems a little bit complicated to me, even though I could put my hand to it. I sit that I sit there and think, well, if I'm looking at it and think it looks complicated, um <laughs> it's a good job, Bella, because I ain't got none. <laughs> She's put I don't just love her for her money. <laughs> Says it's a good job because I ain't got none. Kate says hi, Callum. Hi, Kate. How are you? Oh dear. But yeah, same as I say, I, I look at a recipe and I think, well, if I'm I, if I'm struggling to understand a recipe, how is anybody else supposed to understand it? You know, it's simple as that. <laughs> you know what I mean? As somebody that's sort of like, let's say, for instance, Tracy started baking. That's not an experienced baker. But wants to make it, if I can't make any details of a recipe, then how's anybody else going to do? So, uh, so yeah, I mean, we're 20 past 10 now, guys. I normally only go on for an hour. So what I'm going to do is, even though we've got 14 watching, I am going to shut it down. You know, I only do an hour when I do me live baking. <laughs> Don't you encourage him, Kate. What, eh? She says, um, quick, Callum, get eating the hedgehog slice. <laughs> He's going to bed in a minute, so. And Jack's put, you three pixies are awesome. Night, night from me, I'm doing the hedgehog. Yeah, well, some as I say, I'll get Chris to, uh, once I've cut it up, Jack's post some pictures in, in the group. Jackie, video it. Yeah. She well, she probably not video it. She probably just text some no, pictures. She won't video it. Yeah. So so um, I will see you all again on the next one tomorrow night. And um, thank you for all your support and and coming to the live streams. Uh, next week, peanut butter cookies. So uh, I'll see everyone tomorrow evening. Bye. 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 Bye.